Good evening, YouTube. You guys are not watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, you guys are going to be watching a battle of the gods. That's right, full power dragon rulers versus full power performer pal perform mage, also known as Pepe. These are two decks that have dominated in their once given times dragon rulers being able to dominate inside of the 2012 2013 formats and performer power dominating in the 2015 format for. Uh, it's full power dominating for less than a week and even it's half power dominating for an entire format this is going to be a really interesting game to see and as you guys can see dragon ruler is starting off very strong with double tempest on the board and also following up with the title now we can only assume that three monsters will be something because of super rejuvenation in order for dragon rulers to draw a multiple or a myriad of cards to give them some type of advantage over performer power now a draco sack is going to be made and keep in mind, we're using the Forbidden List, not necessarily the Forbidden List of Dragon Rollers in their prime. So, uh, three copies of Super Rejuvenation. Uh, Draco Sack is probably the best rank seven right behind Big Eye. And that's pretty much it for the deck. You're just going to see a lot of Draco Sacks, a lot of Big Eyes, sometimes a little bit of Stardust Dragon. But more importantly, let's see what Dragon Rollers can do with Hand Traps. And Breakthrough Skill is going to be activated on Performer Power Skull Crobat Joker. A lot of people are like, Kelly, effect. how come Dragon Rollers doesn't play Vanity's Emptiness? And there's actually a really good reason behind that if you guys look into dragon rulers topping or uh, back into the formats where dragon rulers top vanity's emptiness wasn't really a prevalent card main reason is because you could sit behind a draco sack in a vanity's emptiness but that really didn't do you much justice saying that you couldn't advance your board state there was no easy way for dragon rulers to turn off vanity's emptiness like it was uh, or how easy it was to manage with cleave or how easy it is to manage with fire fist it just wasn't happening dragon rulers are a different deck and playing cards and negation cards like breakthrough skill which is not only very prevalent during the time it actually allows me to interact on my opponent's turn while also being able to still play Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakthrough skill is a highly underrated card for the Dragon Ruler format itself and not only during Battle of the Gods you can't rely on stopping your opponents to special summon and sitting on a Draco sack in a Battle of the Gods game that's just not going to happen another great thing about Dragon Rulers is that Breakthrough skill is it's, it's just godly it's like a ninth hand trap for the deck, something that the deck was starved of during its format, seeing that the only good, good hand traps at the time was Maxi and uh, uh, obviously Effect Veiler. So, as you guys can see, Jabber Dragon Infinity is going to be made. Big Eye is going to be activated. And then the Breakthrough skill comes again in clutch. Being able to take the Cyber Dragon Infinity. Dragon Rulers now have a monster that was not played in their era on the side of the field. So, it looks like 5,100 damage is going to be inflicted, bringing Performer Power to 2,900 damage. And that's going to be the game. Dragon Rulers are going to take a swifty, easy game one. Looks like we're going to start going into game two very soon. Dragon Rollers have the 1-0 edge right now, and it could be looking like that for Dragon Rollers every single game, provided that they uh, open up the right amount of cards. So Dragon Rollers definitely do have something to prove in this game. So Performer Power is going to start off first, and it's going to be interesting to see how Dragon Roller can respond when Performer Power goes off using Lusker Pin Draco Slayer to destroy Perform Age and add another Perform Age. Now Guiding Ariane is going to be summoned, and hopefully not a score. No, uh, Pendulum Sorcerer is going to be summoned too because that is just nasty on top of that. So no, it doesn't look like a Performer Power. Pendulum Sorcerer is going to be summoned, but you do get another Plush Fire at Ariane and two Damage Jugglers. Now, DT is going to be detached off of Botalamea, summoned to make Cyber Dragon Infinity, and then two more monsters to make the Abyss Dweller. So uh, Abyss Dweller is going to be pretty hurtful to Dragon Rollers, but looking at their stats, it's a really good deck. That recovery is off the roof. Like, seriously, it's, it's an extraordinary deck that makes some huge plays as you guys can see this is the build and i want to talk about a really good thing is that the deck's consistency does go off its power is very strong it's attack a whole bunch of attack monsters this deck does have a lot going for it but unfortunately going second isn't this deck's thing it wants to go first it wants to get those power plays and the fact that it can draw six cards is the biggest proprietor of dragon rulers being able to go first um Performer Power is setting up a very strong board. Uh, Abyss Dweller does kind of mess with the recovery, but if unleft unchecked, Dragon Rollers will completely ruin a game because that graveyard is basically like a second hand or even a first hand for that deck. And also, Super Rejuvenation is a really good card to help with the recovery, drawing a multiple amount of cards off of that. So uh, it looks like they're just going to go ahead and pass their turn. And if, uh, you know, uh, or I'm sorry, if Performer Power can't OTK right here and right now, Dragon Rollers will be able to come back 
back. That recovery is just something insane from the deck. So you always have to be mindful of how Dragon Rulers prepare for their next turn. So it looks like uh, Monkey Board is going to be activated, which is going to prevent uh, Pendulum Summon unless Lester Pin uses the effect to get Monkey Board out of the scales. And that's going to add from about Skull Crobat Joker. Now, I think this is the biggest problem with Dragon Ruler, knowing what to negate. If Skull Crobat Joker um, is, is negated, then uh, it, it's, it's not a terrible move, but you really want to negate the Pendulum Sorcerer. But Effect Veil is going to be activated on Formal Skull Crobat Joker. And if that is a phase down breakthrough skill, I think I know what is going going. Once trying to gauge and see how much does, does Performer Power want that. Uh, you know, Skull Crow by Joker. If Cyber Dragon Infinity was used to negate, then Breakthrough Skill, if it being the phase down card, could have been used in response to not only hit the Cyber Dragon Infinity, but also banish to negate the Abyss Dweller. So it was a pretty risky move. Breakthrough Skill was going to be activated and negated with Cyber Dragon Infinity. So it's not looking really nice for Dragon Rulers right now. That move, that risky, really risky move, high risk move did not pay off. Performer Power wasn't phased, but if Performer Power does lose his board right now, um, it could be in for some time. It has no material, so it looks like Burner is going to be Solemn Strike. Another great card by Performer Power, um, and it's really hard to, you know, stop stuff like that. The Cyber Strike, the Solemn Strike, and the Infinity is pretty dangerous, so it looks like uh, Monsters are going to be discarded for Tempest and the Abyss Dweller was the main reason why Dragon Rulers can't get off not using their graveyard to summon an additional monster because this board looks very breakable uh, for Dragon Rulers but the only problem is uh, the Abyss Dweller being able to prevent the recovery was pretty damn strong. Uh, it looks like Luster Pin is going to destroy uh, Monkey Board for another Monkey Board. And then it's going to, or realizing that your Pendulum Monsters don't have to be placed inside of the scale. We are going by Master Rule 3. So, uh, as you guys can see, Monster Rule being special summoned in the main Monster Zone because there is no extra Monster Zone at this time. Um, it looks like they're going to be doing something really nasty. Uh, Luster Pin to destroy Luster Pin. And now guiding Ariadne in the extra deck. So it looks like Dragon Rollers might have a hard time breaking this board right about now if it can't be gained. Wondering if that th that phase down is the return from the different dimension that we saw previously, which could be a great stall card to prevent uh, from game and still trigger your Dragon Rollers because they'll be banished at the end phase. So again, this deck has some awesome recovery. I mean, paying half your life points is, is nothing when it comes to uh, you only having 2,200 life points. It looks like Maxi is going to be activated, but maybe just a little bit too late. Uh, Maxi not being able to deter the opponent from attacking from game, but return from a different dimension if that is it, could be that game-breaking card. So Infinity is going to use the effect to attach the Dweller, which is going to force the return from a different dimension because, you know, Dweller or Cyber Dragon Infinity would then be live to activate its effect to negate the return from a different dimension. So now we see Redox and Tidal being summoned to the side of the field. And keep in mind, if those cards do get banished, they will gain their effects on the end phase, giving Dragon Rulers just a lot of advantage. So it looks like a Pendulum Summon of a lot of monsters is going to be summoned, and then Ignister is going to be made. Not going to look nice. The Ariana is going to be destroyed to return the Redox to the top of the deck, and we're just going to go into Game 3. Pepe redeeming itself, going first, and completely dominating the matchup. Gives it the edge, and now Dragon Rulers are going to be able to go first. And let's see if it's going to be a teeter-tot between who goes first. So it looks like Reactant is going to be activated, discarding Mr. Boulders to summon Mr. Boulders. And then uh, uh, Burner is going to be activated, discarding title to summon Blaster to the side of the field. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Dragon Ruler set up Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack. And unfortunately, the power creep is real with these decks because Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack is not as strong as it used to be. Draco Sack used to be an invincible force. It can't be destroyed by card effects. It can't be destroyed by battle. You have to attack over the tokens first. But it gets Perform About a quick Castell just gets over the Dragon or the Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack. So while it does, it is pretty decent board presence. It doesn't do anything in this matchup or as much as we think. Desperately, Dragon Rollers trying to figure out how to stop that. They're going to use a Flamethrower Guard that was banished by uh, um, Blaster to summon a Starter's Dragon, which could be a really good card depending on how Dragon Rollers decides to use it. If used correctly, uh, the Starter's Dragon can stop the Pendulum Sorcerer, which will prevent the destruction, and more importantly, probably prevent Perform Power from, uh, you know, advancing forward. If used incorrectly, then it might not be a good game for Dragon Rulers. So, Perform Power Skull Curve by Joker is going to search the Monkey Board. Monkey Board into the scale, that's probably going to search the Pin Sork uh, through its effect. And then it looks like it's going to be time. Excuse me. It looks like it's going to be time for Dragon Rollers to say some serious consequences. Uh, 
Performer Power, Lizard Draw is going to be activated. And then I'm pretty sure Lizard Draw is going to use this effect to try to bait the Stardust Dragon to give, uh, you know, Performer Power an extra card. It's not going to be used. It's perfectly fine. So it pa it definitely passed the first gauntlet. Now, Guitar Turtle was going to be activated into the scale. So now you can see a clear-cut Pendulum Summon. Uh, no, Draco Face-Off is going to be used. So it just might not matter where the Pendulum or where the, uh, the, the Stardust is going to be placed because... The, if the Draco Slayer is summoned correctly, then you make, you know, Ignister, and now you can just get rid of the Stardust by attacking over it. So, it looks like that's going to be spared just a little bit um, by bringing the Vector out. So, Vector to Molector, but still, you can still Pendulum Summon your way out of Stardust Dragon. Now, Performer Power Hat Trigger is going to be Stardust Summon, and no, they're just going to go right into Cyber Dragon Infinity. It kind of sucks to have that uh, done against your Stardust Dragon, but unfortunately, that's just the how it way it goes. Maybe Stardust Dragon paired with an Effect Veiler would have been perfect perfect for the strategy but it's not looking good a pendulum summon a four is going to happen and that's looking down on the draco sack we're gonna just gonna go right into game three so or game four my apologies perform a pal up by two dragon ruler only has one to the board will perform a pal just go ahead and sweep what the rest of dragon ruler has to do this is gonna be very interesting to see what can dragon rulers do they're, they're already down by by one i uh, don't want to go down by two in this specific instance um, the only bright side of seeing going down by two is that you can do what we call Mega Evolve, and that's what separates uh, this from normal Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, if you guys would see it is best of seven, and if you guys were to take the first three games, Performer well, Power would have won two to one. But that's not exactly what we want to do in Battle of the Gods. We want to see how powerful these decks could be at their very height. So that means we do something called Mega Evolving, which means playing the best available cards for the deck within reason. So I'm not obviously going to um, make Dragon Roller play three copies of Harpy's Feather or three copies of Damage of Fusion. Uh, some of those cards can only be played at one if they never existed into uh, the Dragon Roller strategy so you guys got to keep that in mind when we're talking about big evolution but with that being said dragon rollers will play the best available cards to help the or repel the strategy into getting what they want to do so as you guys can see two more dragon rollers are going to be summoned and it looks like uh, another draco sack play which is mediocre going against perform power unless you have some type of back row no starter dragon might be summoned yes starter dragon is going to be summoned to the side of the field and the limited pool of dragon rollers just might prohibit them from doing what they do but super rejuvenation was activated 4-2. Back to Performer Pals. It looks like Monkey Board is going to be activated to search Pin Sorcerer again. And Pin Sorcerer is the card that you want to stop. Or, I'm sorry, it's going to search Performer Pals. Skull Crobat Joker, which is going to search the Pin Sorcerer. And like I said, Pin Sorcerer is the card that you want to stop with this deck. Like, just no stop. It looks like uh, Lizard Draw is going to be activated for that draw. It's not going to phase Stardust Dragon. It's going to be allowed to activate for that gain. Um... And maybe Lusker, no, what's in that hand? I think I see a Maxi. But Performer Pal is going to be, I um, in a pretty good advantage with six cards in hand and a monster on board and already one pin scale. And that's that's the magic about Performer Pal. It has a lot of consistency. This deck is a perennial of consistency. It's just that good. Um, now it looks like Luster Pin is going to be activated in the scale. And then its effect is going to be used to destroy the Skull Crobat Joker. Or, I'm sorry, the Luster Pin. But I don't think that that was a great thing to do. Wavering is going to be used as chain link three. Oh man, that's nasty. So, um, it kind of sort of mattered that if the Stardust would have destroyed or negated and destroyed the Profile Skull or the, the Pendulum Sorcerer, then they would have been in a very big, better position. Um, it kind of also mattered that the Wavering Guys was activated. If the Wavering Guys wasn't activated, it could have put uh, Pendulums in a pretty bad position. So, uh, you can't really look at it in hindsight. Uh, I think the Stardust Dragon should have been saved at this point in time, but it almost doesn't matter. It's already behind you, and Performer Pals are going to be able to allow to steam roll so now plush fire is going to be added from the deck to hand and it looks like it's not looking good for dragon rollers because we already know pin sork is in the hand so all they need is a low scale hope it's not a guiding no it's a perform age uh mirror and a pendulum summon of a lot of cards are going to be brought to the side of the field i don't even want to say how many cards you just know it is a lot of cards that are going to be summoned with that scale and with the extra deck the best thing about master roll three is that you can pendulum summon as many monsters from your extra deck as possible without use the wild the uses of the extra monster zone so lizard draw lizard draw is going to be summoned a really interesting summon so uh that's going to be cool but uh, more importantly, Pin Sort is going to be negated by an Effect Veiler, so maybe that's the reason why Stardust was uh, felt that it could have been used, but if the Pendulum Sorcerer was, or if the Stardust Dragon was saved for the Pin Sort and the Effect Veiler was used on the Potalamus, which we already 
they have a pretty good, oh no, it can't be made. But hypothetically, if it was used on the Ignister, maybe there would have been a chance for Dragon Ruler. This is starting to look more and more like game due to the amount of summons that Performer Battle has, but Dragon Ruler is not going to give up yet. Maybe, even though we did see the deck profile, maybe there's a snuck in Gores on the Dragon Ruler side. So um, maybe that could happen, but it looks like, or, you know, Perform, or Performer Battles can make the misplay of not being able to put enough damage on the board. Right now, I don't think there's enough damage. 2850 plus 1850. Uh, 37, 47, 57, 63. No, that, that's game right there. So it, it kind of doesn't matter. I don't know why we're sitting on, uh, you know, this game right now, seeing that, you know, Perform Pals even right now have enough to make game right here and right now. So um, another good thing would have just been able to make the second Ignister, Ignister effect to summon a monster from the deck. Uh, which would have been master uh, masterpiece of the Draco Slayer, or is it masterpiece? The the normal monster, um, and then make another play, and that would have been enough for game. But it, it just doesn't matter. It looks like Perform Age is going to be summoned, and that's game. It didn't really matter. We're going to be going into game, which means Dragon Rulers can do that thing that we were just talking about. Down by two, they are going to Mega Evolve into Mega Dragon Rulers. Now this is going to expand their extra deck, allowing them to use quite a few new cards and have to give them a quite a few new tricks up their sleeves so now we're going to be starting into the next game dragon or pepe is a really good deck and i mean it's an extraordinary deck look at its stats it is a sheer symbol of consistency just an awesome deck and, and a deck that can really dominate you on the front end but going into the game we're definitely going to have to see what pepe can do or uh, against this mega evolution dragon ruler deck and it's probably something that can dominate the opponent if left unchecked ash blossom and joy spring is one of those cards that are just really good inside of the deck that can be played inside of mega dragon wars and fuels uh the fact that it is a fire monster so it can be banished with blaster so it looks like dragon roller is going to think and activating blasters effect is going to be met with a maxi banishing ash and title so that is pretty nasty that's going to gain stream to the end and it already looks like that we might not see another game because uh maxi was activated the performance can follow up with something really strong then this game is over dragon roller is going to set a monster in defense and then pass their turn that's not really a good sign for dragon rulers uh, but conceding to the maxi isn't necessarily a bad thing not being able to sp not spot something up before monsters just as we've seen before about is a you know a, a high thing of consistency it didn't break the scale like dragon rulers because this deck still can brick maxi was chained to the cyber dragon and or chained to the pin summon and now they're going to draw a, quite a few cards um with the perform age damage juggler or i'm sorry with the form age trick clown and also now the draco face off is going to summon another monster so it looks like they're going to go for a dweller infinity play which is really good against dragon ruler cyber dragon infinity is going to swallow up the uh blaster but that might have gotten dragon rulers back into the game so it's going to run over to clip wiper which is going to banish Light and Darkness Dragon. I don't, or no, it's going to get negated by uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, which, you know, Cyber Dragon Infinity didn't really have a reason not to negate it. It was nothing else to negate. But now it's weak enough for Blaster to get over. So it looks like Stream is going to activate its effect, discarding the Redox. And I know you guys are wondering why Blish, Abyss Weather wasn't summoned. It actually can't be summoned because... Um, you know, Luster Pin can only make, you know, Draco Slayer monsters. So it looks like Dragon Roller is going to have full reign over, uh, you know, the over the Pepe archetype. And there is not a lot of things that Pepe can do except for that one negate, which has gotten rid of with Double Blaster. So now more Dragon Rollers are going to be summoned to the field. And it looks like, again, a field day is about to happen with Dragon Rollers. Or with, yeah, with Dragon Rulers, one's out of the Pepe. The only thing they have to worry about is Reform Age and the uh, Luster Pen. So Big Eye's going to be used to take the Trick Clown. And then they're going to attack over the Trick Clown twice, putting it down. And Super Rejuvenation is going to be activated for six. Super Rejuvenation for another six. And Super Rejuvenation for another six. Oh, my God. I'm having flashbacks of Worlds 2013. That is fucking awesome super rejuvenation for 18 cards is the exact reason why dragon rulers were one of the best decks of all time being able to draw 18 cards on your end phase and then discard cards because it does not fucking matter you're just going to basically discard into a second hand by getting rid of all of your dragon ruler cards um as you can see the big eye um oh and another maxi well that's fucking great but another dragon ruler monster on the field uh, a big eye a luster pin uh dweller you know might not be able to do anything 
everything. It's so many resources that Dragon Rulers does have and drawing 18 cards out of your deck just might be the icing on the cake that Dragon Ruler does need to just seal this game away. I'm not seeing how Pepe can, can you know, lose or win against this recovery. Like we did see, Dragon Rulers has an awesome recovery and I, I'm just so excited to see 18 cards. So a Pendulum Summon of three is gonna be summoned and it looks like they're going to make uh, maybe another Infinity. No, we know it doesn't play Infinity now that we've seen the deck. Uh, Magister is going to be summoned. And Magister search during the end phase. So, no, it's going to be just a straight-up scoop. That is way too much of a board to insurmount. So, Dragon Ball is making a little bit of a comeback when we are, uh, you know, Mega Evolved. It looks like Pepe is overall the better deck, unfortunately. But Dragon Ball's Mega Evolution is nothing to be scared or to, to uh, you know, not be scared of. It's a really good deck. Being able to draw 18 cards, making some really good boards. Um, granted that that could have been made inside of the regular Dragon Roller deck, but it didn't run the Eclipse Wyvern engine for the Light and Darkness, which is so easy to make for this deck. It looks like Stream is going to be met with Maxi. That's going to summon title. Give them a draw. Is Dragon Roller going to decide to go in more and give Performer Power more draws? <laughs> No, it, it looks like they're going to end their turn. And now the Perform Age combo is going to be activated. Uh, is, is it going to be met with anything? No, Maxi is going to be activated. So it looks like we're having a Maxi fight at the end of this Battle of the Gods segment or towards the end of the Battle of the Gods segment. It looks like who can crank out more Maxis is going to be uh, the clear-cut victor of this matchup in particular. And the fact that Dragon Rollers already started off with three Maxis is pretty good against Pepe's two Maxis. So Dragon Rollers might have the Maxi edge, but let's see if that really matters because you still have to see those Maxis uh, in order to take advantage of those maxis so it looks like performer power might just be going off under the maxi challenge so the maxi challenge could basically mean another a game seven automatically but if you don't go off it could also mean you know game anyway so uh vector is going to be summoned giving uh, another draw to dragon ruler and then it's going to be really interesting to see how they follow up it looks like a perform age damage juggler is going to be summoned dj and then a dinoster can't be summoned uh because no, actually, it could be summoned. I don't know. No, no, no. It couldn't be summoned because of the 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 ruler. So Dweller's going to activate its effect, and that's going to prevent the recovery, quote unquote, from Dragon Rulers, kind of. Because even when the Dragon Rulers are banished, they activate in the banner zone, not in the graveyard. They just can't activate their effects to the hand. So the Dragon Ruler Redux is going to, or title is going to add itself back to its hand due to its own effect during the end phase of the opponent's turn. And it looks like it's going to be really interesting uh, to see what. Dragon Rulers can do. Hopefully, they can break this board and make some really good pushes. It looks like Title is going to activate its effect to summon itself. That's going to banish Stream and Redox. Redox is going to activate its effect to search. That's going to search Reacting. And I don't think... Or no, 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 no. Blaster is going to be summoned. And it looks like that's going to net, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mythic Dragon to the hand. So that's going to be really interesting to see the approach. Are they just going to go off or... Does, is Pepe going to have a chance to respond? It looks like that Dragon Rulers didn't draw another Maxi or any other type of hand trap, so they might just go off and just, you know, cheese it. If they, if they have game, then they have game. I mean, sometimes Maxi does not matter if you have game. So Mythic Water and Mythic Tree Dragon are going to be summoned, and that's going to make Dark Matter Dragon, uh, you know, and that's actually going to make the Cypher. Uh, I actually do remember this part. Cypher's not going to use the effect to take the Dweller. You guys are going to think it's going to use, or it's going to be activated, but after strong considerations, this was actually both players talking with each other, um, trying to figure out what would be the best, because it's not about who necessarily wins. It's about a thorough assessment between the decks. Um, Dweller is not going to, or is going to be decided not to be taken by the Cypher, because Dragon Rollers has to go for game, but you guys didn't see any of that anyways. It doesn't really matter. So it looks like Dark Matter is going to be summoned, sending three cards from the deck to the graveyard, and they are going off. It looks looks like Pepe is drawing all of the cards. Um, if they draw a damage juggler, it's going to be all for naught um, to this. It looks like Stream or Ty Tempest is going to activate its effect. And now looking back, Tidal, I'm sorry, Stream should have activated its effect as well. That's actually going to be rectified as well um, into the game. So it looked like Tidal is going to be summoned twice. It's not necessarily summoned twice through its own effect. It's summoned through the Stream. That's, that was already rectified. We already talked about that. Um, now, Gaia Charger is going to be made, and Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon is going to be made, and unless they have some type of comeback, this is game right here. This is actually enough for Dragon Rulers to make game with the Thunder Charger inflecting 
piercing damage and the red eyes flare metal being able to inflict the finishing blow that's game and it looks like we're going to be forcing a game seven really awesome to see this performer pal is down to its last game so it's going to have the chance to mega evolve which is going to take advantage of that and mega evolve into mega pepe now mega pepe is not that much different from regular pepe except for the expanded extra deck being able to use all the cards but the true draco engine is actually dropped mainly because duelist alliance is such a powerful card playing three of those instead of three draco face off because duelist alliance allows you to search the luster pin from your deck to your hand but also allows you to search performer power performer power pendulum sorcerer so pin sword is going to activate its effect destroying both plush fire and the mage to activate um the the effects and it looks like maxi is going to meet uh perform ages in the alley being able to allow uh you know dragon rollers to draw quite a few cards off of this so scroll corbat joker is going to be summoned and it looks like it's going to be uh, possibly a blowout if you know pepe allows them to continuously draw trying to figure out what pepe is going to be doing to allow this to happen because it's going to be nasty uh guitar total is going to be activated in the scale with monkey board to draw another card and then a surge off of monkey board so if they decide to go into the infinity play it's not going to look nice it's just not it's not going to be nice for the deck because it's going to make uh i, I believe that dragon rollers can do the exact same thing it doesn't matter if you max me i'm going to otk you i'm going to put that much damage on the board that it, it's going to not matter i'm just going to be able to summon enough resources but looking at what four mages is going to do they seem to be making a pretty good board still trying to figure out what to add through um the odd eyes uh you know perform about skull my joker and lizard draw is going to be ultimately decided on the next turn it's going to gain him a lot of advantage so maybe they're going to make an extra deck play maybe not maybe just dweller and pass turn duelist alliance is going to be activated that's going to add possibly luster to the hand since pendulum sorcerer is already on the board so yeah that's going to add luster pin from the deck to the hand and it looks like we're still trying to figure out what uh performer pal wants to do with this three monster board it looks like they're just going to make the dweller and then pass so uh dragon rulers only being able to draw two cards from that encounter dweller is going to be met with a forbidden chalice oh that's saucy right now and dweller's oh no <laughs> maxi activated to the burner that might be the pivotal card so now dragon rulers are in a very tough bind either they go off right now and uh lose the game possibly or they don't go off right now and lose the game possibly so it's gonna be uh not so great for them it looks like they're gonna add the mythic dragon and mythic water dragon through double gold sarcophagus so they might just be going off unfortunately if they try to go the light and darkness dragon route they're not going to be able to uh you know make the board so they might look it looks like they're gonna make a more conservative approach using both blasters to attack over both monsters don't know why oh it only can attack one monster that's perfectly fine and then tribute summoning for light and darkness dragon hoping that pendulums cannot make something to get over light and dark dragon or has to waste more resources basically light and dark dragon is gonna buy the deck more time hopefully a turn preventing them from going the complete fuck off um with the cards that they have in hand so it looked like it wasn't a really good situation i think that dragon rulers did make the best out of the situation by making by summoning light and darkness dragon so perform powers is going to go ahead and pendulum summon four monsters and that is starting to get really annoying uh spencer is going to activate its effect that's going to be negated by light and darkness dragon making it 2300 the biggest problem now is that uh, i think dragon rulers didn't calculate that ignister was a card and now it's going to be made and it's stronger than light and darkness dragon off the bat right now so 2850 to the 23 that's going to be attacked to get over the light and darkness dragon and then it looks like some more damage is going to be coming dragon rulers way if they had a maxi then yeah this would have been a pretty good time to activate it in response to the from our pendulum sorcerer's effect which would have been pretty crazy but it doesn't look like dragon rollers have uh that luxury to have those type of cards so that's going to put dragon rollers the attack is going to put dragon rollers down to 4150 life points but life points really doesn't mean a lot in the battle of the god series mainly because these decks are so good at making serious comebacks that life doesn't mean anything so it looks like sky iris another great card that is played inside of the new or uh, the full power pepe deck is going to be used to add odd eyes fusion and it looks like we're seeing zodiac broad bull for monitor wow this is going to be pretty crazy what they're going to do it looks like lizard draw is going to be activated to banish or to destroy itself and draw two more cards 
Odd Eyes Fusion for the Fusion Summon of Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. And that's going to be pretty nasty. A Ignister of Vortex. Um, and, you know, an Ignister of Vortex and a Dryden on the field. So it looks like that Performer Power was thinking about their Fusion Summon. They're going to not use the Minotaur. Hmm, definitely thinking about what they're going to do. Are they going to use the Plush Fire? Um... And it was very smart for Dragon Rollers, especially on the Max C, because Ignister would have been able to use its effect to destroy the plus fire on the Max C, so it would have been pretty nasty. They're definitely thinking about what they're going to do. So one Vortex is going to be able with the plush fire. They're going to keep the Minotaur, Minot or uh, the Dissolver. Dissolver is then going to activate its effect, or, or could activate its effect. Now it's in the pin zone. Norden's going to be summoned. That's going to bring out the Skull Crobat Joker. And then another Fusion Summon for another Vortex, Double Vortex, Dryden with the Ignister. That's going to be too good for them to take over. Pepe does win it, and they're going to be going through a gauntlet. People have been saying that Pepe is the best deck in the format, so I thought we will put it against Dragon Ruler and possibly against a couple of other decks, Spirals, before it can go against Full Power 2, because I know that's the matchup that you guys have been waiting for. Thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the Caliphate. If you guys would like to support, or actually, if you guys would like to get some amazing, and when I mean amazing, amazing rewards and perks for joining patreon then go ahead and check patreon out again thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy